Today we're gonna take a look at a popular add-on that got updated recently. Tree and Grass Library Botanic, the ever-expanding library of optimized and realistic 3D vegetation, is back with its 6.4 update. Multiple assets were added, along with animations and vegetation shaders, and it has extended now to include a variety of different plants, trees, roses, mushrooms, and so on. Looping animations were added, where the animation of trees can loop on 120 frames. In addition to that, you can now control the animation with modifiers. Also with this update, you can control the brightness of one asset or a group of assets at once. Botanic 6.4 also contains more complex particle system presets, also exposed seed value in the add-ons UI, and vines functionality to make the stem thicker or thinner. Also now you can add selected objects to an active particle system, modify display type on selected botanic particle system, and spawn based materials with them. Plus about 55 new assets, including 9 new mushroom types, 7 different branches and twigs, 6 leaves, 3 roses, and 6 rose bushes among others. In addition to 10 new scatter presets, some of them are autumn leaves, cut grass, desert, coniferous forest debris, deciduous forest debris, mixed forest debris, and more. Also adding assets now is easier with the ability to select chosen asset directly from the library. And with the addition of scatter assets, you can quickly populate the selected object with botanic assets that you will choose. Or just use pre-made particle presets, as well as creating length and density vertex groups for each particle system and setting density per square meter, and you can recalculate if needed. In addition to that, you can also add selected assets to an active particle system. Spawn Assets is another new feature in this update where each asset has a rendered preview and can be added through the add-on. The assets are linked by default and you will have the choice to add them as editable objects to convert them later on. This update also includes two tools that can be really time-saving. The first one is Snap to Ground, which allows you to make sure that all your trees are gonna be safely planted. No more floating trees or dragging your trees to the ground one by one. The second one allows you to randomize scale and rotate your selected assets to give the appearance of variation which makes it more realistic and saves you the effort of making each tree different than the other. Not to mention a set of improvements such as improving the add-ons scatter search bar and improved albedo values. And of course, some bug fixes from Botanic 6.3. There is actually a discount before October 26, 2021, so if you are willing to use it, go for it right now. The add-on doesn't provide every single asset that you will ever need in creating exterior visualization scenes, but I am pretty sure that it will be awesome for you and it will save you a lot of time and effort. If you are interested, you can find the necessary links in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below to share with us some of your thoughts. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.